All right, we doing some fancy stuff today. Bro? Oh, I'm good. I got my sneakers on now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I took my house slippers off. So we're going to be doing some fancy stuff today. Today, again, this is all part of me serving my purpose, my passion. Um, and that is to help repair, to help teach, to help inspire, to help give game and strategy to those who are trying to hit the next level or transform in their lives, right? That's my thing. And so we are doing, um, as a school, the Jay Morrison Academy, I'm the Academy founder, Jay Morrison, and we're doing a campaign that we started yesterday, December 21st it was, right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday? Yep. yep. Through the 31st, so for 10 days to end the year, I want to teach every day from now to the end of the year. So I'm going on a 10 day teaching campaign and most of it will probably be done right here in my garage. I'm making it convenient for me because there's holiday shoppers out there. There's, I got family coming in town, but I still want to meet my goals. I still want to honor my obligation to be able to end this year with a bang teaching about entrepreneurship and business. Yesterday we talked about entrepreneurship from a real estate investing standpoint and how you could fund any deal with no money down. You guys can watch that lecture on my Facebook fan page, my YouTube channel. The IG Live is now over. But today, uh, I'm going to be interviewing another business owner. And for the next nine days, I'm going to be interviewing other business owners and talking about how you can start specific businesses that I know are of interest to most of us, right? So today, we're going to be talking about easy businesses. We're going to be interviewing Demetrius from Black Money Matters. What's up, Hello, sir. All right, so we got some fancy software my technical team put together where we can stream it on the wall. But for those of you who want to watch this uh, outside my YouTube channel in the replay, you can watch it on my Facebook fan page, J. Mr. Real Estate Morrison. Make sure you click that like button. So I'm trying to get to 100,000 fans on my Facebook page before the end of the year. So I got nine days to get 975 people as I last checked. All right. So it's all about educating. It's all about providing opportunity. The reason why I do this is because everything that I learned about business over the last 13 years that helped me run 24 businesses and create a multi-million dollar empire, all those things that I didn't know prior to 25 years old when I started as an entrepreneur, the, the, the things that i would learned outside of my 10 years in the streets, those things help transform my life because I learned new strategies. And I realized that no one's given us this game. No one's given us these strategies. We don't got to do fancy in a boardroom. We ain't got to be in a conference room. We, can you not scrape the chair more? Thank you. We can do it in a, on the corner. We could do it in a barbershop. We could do it in the garage. So you got to bring your message to wherever you make bring your message. It's not about being fancy. It's about the content, right? So I want to give you the content today about how two proven ways to start your own fashion label. That's going to be my job. We're going to dive in. As you see me wear the Jay Morrison collection from Black Money Matters. This is a yes, piece, a concept. Came with the king. So first and foremost, King, can you please introduce yourself to all audience? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My name is Demetrius. Uh, Jay likes to call me King D. So if y'all want to call me D, that's fine as well. I am a CEO, a part owner of Black Money Matters. Uh, it's the movement. It's about economic empowerment and financial literacy through fashion. So I appreciate the support and thank you for having me on here, Jay. That's my pleasure. So I love, uh, and I ran into King accidentally, actually through my fiance, Ernestine Johnson. She was just pulling some clothes for me because she is a personal shopper and stylist for celebrities. And so I happen to have that person as my woman dressing me as a celebrity. And she found <laughs> a really dope piece that you'll see me wear over the next couple of days. The black and gold signature black money matters piece. She found it in a store, uh, exclusive game here in Atlanta. Shout out to T. And we built a relationship with Demetrius over the span of our corner class tour. And on that corner class tour, he was sending me different pieces, this being one of them. And we fell in love with it. And so we started talking about strategies to collaborate, to joint venture, and to how to help his line succeed and accelerate to the next level, but also how we could represent financial literacy in cool and innovative ways, right? So I'm good with the lectures. I'll teach you, I'll show you, I do it in my real life. I just got off an amazing call uh, with our uh, 
our partners for the Tulsa Real Estate Fund, which will be launching a real estate crowd fund, which I'm super excited about. So I'm like on, on 10 right now. But um, we want to show you different ways to be an entrepreneur in or outside of real estate. So, King, I want to interview you. I want people to really know your story. I know a little bit of it. I think it's a great opportunity to share with young entrepreneurs how you've been in this business now for what, two years. You've had the company? Yes, sir. I've been in the business. The, the, I would say as far as starting Black Money Matters, definitely uh, two years. Uh, two years ago, we, we just started it. And uh, this year, we've taken it much more serious. And uh, that's what led us to being here today with you. All right. So is that your first fashion venture or have you had other fashion ventures outside of the Black Money Matters? So that's a, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah. So I used to um I, I I lived in I went to school at TSU in uh, Houston. Shout out to TSU, Texas Southern. That is a HBCU. And uh, from there, my my roommate from college was from DC, and his uh, his bigger cousin uh, I interned for in New York. And while in New York, I worked for ENK, uh, Elise Nancy Crow. It's a fashion trade show company. So my my first line, which I really should have stuck with, was called Text Tees. It was before everybody was using a lot of the acronyms like SMH, etc. I was already making shirts with with those acronyms on it, wearing them wearing them different places, and people uh, it got good feedback. Uh, I would say the main reason I didn't I may not have pursued it is because on my quest of looking at leaders like yourself. Uh, this uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins, etc. I want to do something that really gave a bold print for our people. So I transitioned, and uh, that's how Black Money Matters was 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 uh, invented per se. All right, cool. So we got a lot of entrepreneurs in our Facebook, my Facebook Live audience. I need you to share this. You know our agreement, our exchange of business. I'll continue to give you great content, right? Great innovative content. You guys got to like, share, comment, like the page, encourage friends to like the page, and promote this content. Um, so Facebook, make sure you share on IG. If you want to watch this with maybe better sound quality or better visual quality, simply go to my Facebook fan page, J. Mr. Real Estate Morrison, like the page, and watch this split screen live on my Facebook fan page. And it'll be on replay on my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. So I want to dig in a little bit to that. So you started Black Money Matters. So as a, and how old are you, by the way, King? How old am I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm 31. Okay, so as a young entrepreneur, 31-year-old entrepreneur, you started this line, I guess, 29 years old or approaching 30. So tell me, what were, so when this idea popped in either you or your partner's head, what was one of the first things you guys did to execute this vision you had? So... That's a good question. As far as the the concept, you know, obviously my partner and I go between Kansas City, which we're originally from Kansas City, and, uh, you know, we, we now reside back and forth from here to St. Louis. And uh, during, like, the Trayvon Martin and all of that, we saw a lot of businesses that was getting, you know, attacked, torn down, et cetera. And we were like, man, if these were black businesses, people wouldn't do this, et cetera. Um, so as far as starting the business, we really just kept it simple, like like with what I have here. Just Black Money Matters. We just wanted to get feedback. Uh, we, as I said, it wasn't that we weren't taking it serious. We just wanted to see how the people would would take to it. And uh, I would say, with our niche being about the Black community, about the conscious community, Pan Africanism, etc., we made sure that we attended events that were conducive to that. And uh, the feedback has been has been good thus far. And uh, a lot of people are supporting what we have. Great point. So King had a vision. And outside of his vision, you also had identified your target audience, your niche market. Yes, sir. He yes, sir. Exactly who we want to reach within his vision or his niche. A lot of us say, yo, I want, I want to reach everybody, which is fine, but everybody's a big damn market. So he knew he wanted to reach the black community, specifically the conscious or financially conscious at least, the black community, right? He knew he wanted to reach people that believed in Pan-Africanism or uh, independence or freedom or financial wealth and freedom, right? So he niched that out and then he also tested the market. But another thing that he did that was real cool um, and that what I appreciate in your evolution is a lot of us start out with ideas and we hustle, right? 
Yeah. Who, I'm sure you heard me say. Hustle is just informal business or unformal business. So you go mm -hmm. out, you hustle, you slap some logos on a T, you test it out, you try it out, and then we got to figure out, as you have success, how do I put some uh, infrastructure behind that business? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's correct. You got to, you got to, um, I'm definitely a fan of just effort. Uh, I'm, def I'm definitely a fan of knowing that other people see the effort. And from there, you know, you will, you will then, uh, as you talk about, you know, find someone or research someone who is an expert. In our case, we were looking at guys like Damon John to start saying, hey, how can we take, you know, minimal costs just as you teach? Hey, how can, how can you execute something grand with minimal costs? And for us, that was Damon John. Obviously, the creator and owner of FUBU, we looked at his model. We said, okay, we're going to make a lot of shirts. We're going to go to our niche uh, events that, that cater to the black community, such as the All Black National Convention, et cetera. We're going to go here to the corner classes. We're going to uh, connect with these leaders, and we're going to see who, who, uh, who, who believes in our brand. And, I mean, you know, you, 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 know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So our goal is just to keep working, you know, and keep building. Absolutely. And I got to commend you. You guys have been very courageous. I mean, I saw you in pictures with 50 Cent, with myself, with Dr. Boyce Watkins, with Killer Mike, with others. So you guys are popping up at all kinds of events and occasions, promoting the brand, planting seeds, potentially getting denied, getting shot down, just shooting your yeah. shot and trying to get exposure. Right. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, and I mean, you know, uh, I, I think a lot of people have to know that just comes with the territory. Some people... You know, and it, and it may not be, you know, I, I was I was uh, listening to a guy and he said every no gets you closer to your yes or no means not right now. So, you know, uh, a lot of people don't, under, you know, may say, oh, man, you know, these guys are doing their thing. But, you know, this was developed, what, a year ago between you and I. <laughs> you know what I mean? So a lot of people don't understand that, like, this was us coming from Kansas City or St. Louis driving six to eight hours, you know, uh, building an informal relationship with you. Uh, you doing your own research and then saying, hey, I like what these guys are doing from afar. So that's why I really want people to understand that effort really never goes unnoticed. All you can do is just put the work in. You can't. Oh, I, I, I didn't go in. I didn't go and meet, you know, Jay Morrison or Boyce Watkins or Killer Mike or any of these other individuals that are leaders. Shout out to Lord Jamar, too, who are a product on uh, Fly TV. But we never went out with the goal of saying, hey, we're going to go this far. All we can do is just plant the seed and water it. And within that niche, we found out that, hey, you know, uh, Boyce Watkins contacted me. Like, hey, man, I see, you know, Jay Morrison is supporting the apparel. You know, uh, that's that's good stuff, man. I, I like what I see. So just because, just because you didn't get what you wanted right then doesn't mean – that you stop doesn't mean that you don't follow up, doesn't mean that you keep going. All you can do is just plant the seeds and go from there. I'm glad you said that word as a layup to me because what I was about to write next was this. You guys seen it at <laughs> one of my last lectures. Seed, time, and harvest. Yes. This is one of the key things you got to understand as an entrepreneur. You got to plant your seeds. You then have to nurture those seeds over time. And then I'm going to put nurture as well. And then you get your harvest. You reap your harvest. Right? So that's, I want to put that, reap your harvest. This is where you get the rewards. Where he nurtured our relationship for a year and a half in order to get to a position where now we're doing a collaboration. So I want to talk about two proven ways to start a fashion label. Your very own fashion label. Okay? This is all about ending the year, talking about easy businesses. How do we build assets? How do we get out of a nine to five rat race? How do we get out of hustling and get into really owning and operating businesses? And so, well, I want to talk about, want to talk about one of the big things when it comes to running a business, starting a business, accelerating a business. One of the biggest things is capital. It comes, yes, down, sir. It, it comes down to <laughs> money. So for someone looking to start a fashion line, let's talk about some of the, the costs you've incurred during this process, right? So I know for one, you're building relationships, you're out, you got, you got travel, right? You got your travel cost, yes. you, got lot, you got lodging, 
Mm -hmm. You got what we call T and E travel and entertainment. Entertainment means if he takes me out to lunch, that's a business expense, but it's something he has to, if he, if he goes sees Boyce Watkins or another leader and he wants to treat them to dinner or just pop up at their conference and pay to be in their conference, you have those calls. So you got travel, lodging, and what we call entertainment, right? Just as promotional calls for your business to get around, right? Part Definitely. of the operational calls. So let's talk about that. What kind of travel, lodging, and entertainment calls, if you want to try to go blow up your line, you want to try to go promote your line, what kind of a cost could an entrepreneur, a fashion label entrepreneur, expect in a year in travel, lodging, and entertainment? I would say for travel, for lodging, and entertainment, we, we set a budget of around, I would say, five to six hundred. Um, I would say travel, and, and, and you know, I, I really want people to understand that it's a journey with that. You know, you can find some cheap tickets, or you can rent a car and drive. We 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 do it all the metrics, or you can hop on the the Greyhound. You know, it's a lot of things that we're right. we're going into. It's like, hey, which is the flight? Oh, that's too high. All right, let's let's rent a car and gas. Okay, maybe that makes sense. Or you know, let me leave DC and uh, hop on the Greyhound. Now it may be twelve or thirteen out thirteen hours, but it makes sense cost wise. So that right. that grind part has to be uh, the mindset in the beginning anyway. And then, I mean, you have lodging, uh, but I mean, it might be a hotel, it might be an Airbnb. You like know, it might be, spot. <laughs> yeah, it might be, hey, Jay, you know, I'm here. I got the couch. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, but I definitely, I definitely try to put, I would say five to six hundred dollars together. I definitely always, maybe as our insurance, we're coming with apparel. Uh, I do want to say you, you, you put the nail on the head with the entertainment costs. Uh, you definitely, even though you on the grind, you, you want to look like you, you want to, uh, you want to be a boss in, in your move. So, you know, picking up that tab, you know, purchasing that book, you know, purchasing that apparel like the shirt you got on is always a way to give that extra bridge for the for the leader or the person that you're looking to do business with. Right. It's being it's being a value add. Right. So it's like support breeds support. So I'm not right. too many of us start off in business and all you do is ask, 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 ask. What can you do for me? What can you do for me? You're never looking at the other person saying, how can I offer value to you? Hey, Jay, right. you know what? let me get three of those books. Let me support your conference, right? So then right. that value could be reciprocated. Too many of young entrepreneurs are always looking for the gimme, 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 take, 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 and not looking to do fair exchange, no robbery, what we call win-wins. So if you exactly. were to spend five to six hundred dollars on travel entertainment and you were to do 10 events between, say, 10 and 15 events a year, you're looking at anywhere between, we'll, say, we'll call it, we'll it $7,500 to $10,000 for the year. Easily. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Easy. You said that confidently. Easy. Right? Easy. So, so for you to be able to get around in your business, you're going to be looking at at least $10,000 of capital just to be able to entertain influencers, get around to different events, and promote your brand, right? So that's just one. Now we know you've got to do uh, your business infrastructure, right? Your business branding. So we're going to talk about branding. Branding, and we're going to say uh, formalizing your business. Mm -hmm. So this is your LLC or your S Corp. This is your legal paperwork, your copyrights. This is uh, your website, your business cards, getting your logo design, all these things. Bang. So yeah. all these things add up. So you could easily be looking at in your branding costs, depending on what kind of branding you're doing, you could be looking at, depending on your website, uh, other, other, other marketing and branding, another 10 racks, right? Yeah, easily. I mean, the, 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 the whole thing is, is that you, uh, you know, the, the, I, I guess the, the best way I like people to maybe take our story is that uh, you have like maybe, you know, 10000 as far as money that you're spending, but you also have to, you know, put $10,000 worth, worth of work ethic in as well. So 
Uh, you have to really kind of match it. I mean, in my quest, I don't want to just be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire father. You know, I want to be a, a millionaire businessman. I want to be a millionaire friend. And that's something else as far as kind of the, to add on to that give, 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 take, take, take that people don't understand. Hey, Jay, can I do this with you? Can I do that with you? Yeah, you asking Jay to do $10,000 worth of things. But are you giving even a thousand dollars, a hundred dollars to say to, to earn your seat at the table? If you will. Um, so I definitely want people to take that in consideration. But I mean, you're right. Between the website, you know, personally, I sent you an email when we bought we bought a domain. Blackmoneymatters.com costs us three hundred dollars. <laughs> right. It's so just just to buy that, you know. Um, so I mean, it's it's just part of the it's just part of the grind. But yeah, I would say easily 10k, getting getting your making sure it's done right. I guess that's that's what you gotta make sure. Making sure it's done right and making sure it's executed right. You're gonna spend that money because if you don't, it's gonna you know bite you in the long run. So you can't take no cut no corners. And what's really interesting, uh, honestly, the person that sold you BlackMoneyMatters.com for three hundred dollars, that was a steal. You caught that one. Oh yeah, cause cause it was already evaluated at twenty two hundred. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want an easy three racks for that domain, but you, you got yeah. it. Yeah, God was on your side. Yeah. All right. So we have these calls. Then we know you also have the cost of your merchandise, of actually creating okay. the product, right? So your inventory. Mm -hmm. We haven't even got to that. That's before the the actual product product even gets printed. <laughs> but before the product even gets made, designing your product getting your materials, doing your research, right, for, for your product. So inventory-wise, what would be wise for someone starting a fashion label? Everyone has different budgets. We're going to talk about how they can get the money. But what would be a recommended budget for you starting off sampling out and trying out or at least producing some inventory? For, for us, uh, what we did is we... We spent some, we incurred some costs earlier on that maybe we, uh, not even that we shouldn't have because everything is a journey. But uh, once we found out that we could take certain, we could, we could buy certain equipment and then use our, and, and learn our own skills, kind of educate ourselves. So we kind of paid for that education. We then was able to buy our, own, you know, buy our own equipment, you know, which allowed us to uh, make our own designs and which allowed us to cut costs over time. But I would say to start off, I would, I would, I would say, I would say, I would say about two grand. Two okay. grand to me is a good start. It would be, and that, and and that would be making sure you got a, a, a just amount of just blank in. Blank apparels, T-shirts, hats, scullies, crew necks, jackets. Because you're gonna be buying and testing out a lot of a lot of items, and uh, you have to also understand that you're gonna be giving away a lot of items. We spent two thousand on Jay for <laughs> for the tour. <laughs> so you know, I would say two thousand is a good enough start. You know, you could take some of it and say, hey, this is what I'm going to set aside for retail. This is what I'm going to set aside to get to certain influencers. And, and, and what I think they, what we have to understand is, is that that is an investment. Getting product to someone or get, having that business meeting or taking care of that lunch, et cetera, all of those things are just an investment because you got to find a way to pay to play. That's just the bottom line. Absolutely, um, absolutely. Yeah, but I would say two grand is a good enough start. As I said, we, you know, with us being Black Money Matters, the, the biggest leader that I feel outside of maybe like a Carl Kana would be a, uh, would be a Damon John with FUBU. And, you know, what he did, he just had the shirts, he made, he made the apparel, and he just recycled it. And we so did that. About, we did that on a higher level. Right, so you talked about equipment. When you got into purchasing your own equipment to produce your own product and manufacture your own product, what were those costs like? When we bought our own equipment? Yep. When we once our, our equipment our equipment ended up being around two grand itself. But once we did that, we were able to get with, uh, and I guess I'll just give them a good vendor, get with Delta Apparel, and that would uh, that allowed us to just purchase merch, and then, you know, instead of paying 
the second man to maybe make some designs, we were able to do it ourselves. So instead of maybe uh, 2,000, maybe an inventory or, you know, getting the, getting the product made, we're now at about, we're, we now are splitting that or a little more with maybe like 1,500 of sweat equity and then obviously our equipment costs. Right, so you're still working for it. So I want to give you guys a perspective, anybody joining the live late, again, Instagram, if you want to hear this in better quality or see it in better quality, you can join my Facebook fan page, J. Mr. Real Estate Morrison. Make sure you like the page. I got to hit 100K by 2018. Facebook, you guys have this, and it'll be on replay on my live and also on YouTube. Now, let's talk about numbers real quick. We're talking about business. See, too many of us get caught into get-rich-quick schemes. We get caught into, I want to be a wholesaler. I want to do Bitcoin now. I want to do MLN. You're just running like a rabbit or a chicken with your head cut off, just bouncing off walls, but not being rooted and grounded in business. I'm a hustler. Yeah. I done did everything under the sun. But what I pride myself in is being a very astute, very savvy, uh, and very educated businessman. Even with no formal education, no college education, I've educated myself on how to run a real enterprise, a real organization. So let's talk about the money side. So we talked about anywhere from seventy-five to ten thousand for travel, lodging, and entertainment. From five to ten thousand for branding and formalizing your business. Uh, Four thousand for inventory, getting materials made, you know, for yourself. And this is before any operational costs and all the sweat equity you got to put in to run your business. So exactly. Then, meanwhile, he's doing this full time. He's still got to keep the lights on. So you still got carrying costs to your business because you're working on pumping your business out, but you still got to take care of mortgage or rent or utilities and family and et cetera. So let's just say $2,000 over, say, we'll call it $2,500 over a six month period. So we're looking at about another $7,500 of just yeah. carrying costs for the business. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah, definitely. So we're going to call that 75. So I like breaking this stuff down for you guys. So I just want to be practical about the, the cost of doing business. Too many of us think it's going to be freebies, right? So again, let's, let's take the high numbers, 10,000, 10,000, 4,000, right? That's 24,000 and 7,500. That's $31,500. Hey, thanks, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you like yourself, right, I got that. <laughs> he talked about how he paid some costs learning the business, and this is where a mentor, a coach, having someone that's done business before can help you cut learning costs. So whether it be you hiring a business coach, such as myself, or you doing trial and error and just learning the business on the fly, that's going to cost you about 10 grand in mistakes or coaching. Oh, yeah. Just for somebody to put you on the game or you to learn game the hard way, right? From just trial and error. So we're looking at starting this business, we're looking at $41,500, say over a year period. Your living expenses for six months while you get the business going, your inventory and your uh, machinery, your branding and formalizing your business, hiring your team, your travel, lodging, entertainment. These are some realistic startup costs we're doing a business, right? So one of the proven strategies I want to give you on how to do this, we talked about it yesterday from a real estate perspective, is that we are on an aggressive campaign to let you guys know you can create a 33 or 50 page business plan with your market study, your market share, your competitors, your prospectus, your performa, with the bio, the bios on your company, with your financial reports, your P&Ls, track record, and you can take this into a bank and you can apply for an SBA loan, Small Business Administration loan, which takes about six months for you to qualify. And then the bank has to look at your credit and, and everything else and your track record and then approve you. And you can get a small business loan or at a credit union and you can try your shot there, right? So that's something I want to tell you guys about. You have the opportunity to do that. Now, if you want to expedite that process of financing a project like this, we have our easy funding that we're offering. I want to give you guys a perspective on that. And this is just one of the ways I'm going to show you.
So we want to put this, you know, I'll put it right here. We can still see this, Gene? Yeah. yeah, I can see that. All right, this yeah, looks good. So, what I want to show you guys about that, our easy funding is so dope because we're giving business lines of credit, not loans. See, when you get a loan, if I gave you a loan for $41,000, you got to start paying on that loan tomorrow. Even though sure. you don't need that money all right away. You need this money over time. So with a loan, you got to start paying back interest and in your principal from day one or, you know, your first payment of that loan. What we're talking about is revolving credit and credit cards and credit lines that you can use to get funded over $50,000 on your first round of funding, right? A quarter million dollars over one year. The reason why I'm telling you guys about this is not just for self-interest. It is our business model, the service that we offer, because so many of you say that you don't want to graduate college and have a dead-end job, or you're in a dead-end job, or you're retired, or you're hustling, you're trying to leave the streets, whatever it is, but you're trying to figure out, where do I get the money from? Where do I get the capital from? So what I'm here to tell you is you don't have a money problem. You have a strategy problem. See, if you had the strategy, which I'm giving you the strategy, I'm telling you how I started businesses. D and I haven't had this conversation about scaling his business. That you can go in, somebody, I told everyone yesterday that you can flip a house with no money down. And in that process, to get this bank's money, right, we call TBM, the bank's money, we have a $500 application fee. Someone says, see, I told you it ain't no money down. Your application fee to get access to 50000 is not part of your down payment on an investment. That's just your application fee. The project still really is no money down. Not to mention, if you don't want to pay your $500 application fee, go borrow it. Go get it for somebody for Christmas. Now it's really no money down, right? Go get, go, go, go get loan the money. But if you're able to get this kind of funding, right, $50,000 with no employment needed, no collateral needed, no security needed, no tax returns needed, no bank statements needed, no business plan needed, although we advise you to have a business strategy, if you're able to get the 50000 just for a $500 application fee, and we charge 10%, as I told you, funding fee, which means, hey, listen, you got to pay us five grand for us to give you 50 grand. But you pay it on the back end. You can pay it out of the actual loan or credit lines that we give you. So your net walk away is $45,000 on $50,000, paying us 10% of $50,000, which is $5,000. So we're talking about you could position yourself to start a whole fashion label with $500 application fee that you can borrow from someone if you just don't want to invest your own skin into the game. If you don't want to invest into your own vision, your own business, because you're that cheap or that scared or that frugal or just that uh, freebie-minded, right? Because we got the freebie-minded people. All they want is free, 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 free. They don't want to put no sweat equity, no work. All you want is a gimme, right? Yeah. Your, your business probably won't succeed that way because you don't want any win-wins. You just want to win your way. So exactly. what you have in 45000 that you only have to pay on once you use the 45,000. So you might start with your 5,000 for your website, for your LLC, to get your attorney, to copyright your business, to get your logo, right? To start your, get your marketing collateral. So you pay on that five. Then you might get your promo tour down and then you start your promo, and your travel, and your lodging, and all the things you gotta do in order to promote your business. But obviously you gotta get yourself some inventory you might want to get the machinery or get or pay for some merchandise for you to be able to design and craft. You may say, you know what, I need to invest into a business coach so I don't got to bump my head a million times before I figure it out. Might be the first thing you might want to invest in is to secure a business coach to help walk you through this process. But the point being is that if you can use the bank's money, 100% of the bank's money, and give your idea a shot and give your business a shot to be able to formally, not just hustle, to formally operate your business with no risk of your own money, only risk to the bank's money, 
And you can go start off a label, but then, as D said, he put, if he put 10,000 into the business, he put 10 or 20,000 of effort, it's effort so dollars into the business. That's where it began to work for him. He, too many of y'all think you can just throw money at the problem. Oh, just give me 50, give me 10, give me 100. So many of y'all think if you had 100,000 right now, everything would be okay. The problem is you get 100,000 right now, you're going to spend 100,000 right now, you're going to spend it down. You're going to spend it down trying to solve your problems as opposed to outworking your problems and using the money as fuel for your strategy. See, money's only meant to back your strategy. Money's not meant to plug the holes. Your strategy, your model should be what, be what plugs the holes. So this is one way you guys can fund your business. One of the proven ways to start a fashion label is to hire a, fa hire a business coach, get easy funding, have the resources you need to then go implement your vision for your fashion label. That's one way, one simple way. Now I want to give you another way. And I'm going to tell you in a second, and our team will put a link in our Facebook. If you watch this on YouTube, you'll see a link below in the description. Instagram, you guys, check the link in my bio, or my Instagram bio. And we're going to tell you how you guys can get the funding, right? Well, you, you know, I do, I do want to make sure, you, you, and you're 100% right, Jay. Um, if, you, if you don't have the, if you're not actively looking for the 500 to invest in getting that, that amount of funding, then you, 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 should just, you should just stop right there. Because anyone who has any business acumen knows that it's very difficult to attain tens of thousands of dollars and get approved from it by a bank, et cetera. So, you know, actually, yeah, you know, the 50, you, you actually are, 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 are fortunate that Jay is given that kind of $50,000 worth of gain for 500 to be completely honest with you. Facts. <laughs> well, that's the thing. See, my thing is this. Oh, sure. Easy. Oops. I messed up. My thing is this, D. Um, experience business owners or even hustlers know that. They know it takes money to make money. They know you got to pay the cost to be the boss. It's yeah. the, and I say this, there's people that say, oh man, I'm not doing that. I'm not paying no money to get money. And I say, cool, do what you're doing then. If what you're doing is working for you, continue doing what's work. If it's working for you, you don't need this. You don't need me. Right. You don't even need to be in this lecture right now. If what you're doing is working for you right now, you don't even need to be here. Yeah. What we're talking about is the opportunity to level up, learn something different, learn something new, apply new strategies. But every business owner knows. We already know what the cost is. But I like converting people that are on the fence, people that have those fears. See, if you're scared to pay 5000 to get 45000 if you're scared to pay 10000 to get 90000 what it is is that you don't trust your hustle. You don't exactly. trust your business model. You don't yeah. trust you. You don't trust yeah. you with 90000 because you know you right. won't F it up. That's yeah. what it boils down to. So yeah, you're using the fees or you're using the cost as an excuse for you to not do what you don't feel confident to go out and do anyway. That's what it boils sure. down to. For sure. Or you have cheaper money you can get somewhere else. Maybe your uncle's rich and he'll loan you $90,000. Then go get it. Yeah. So we talk about this one proven way. To fund your fashion label. Right? So, get a website, www.jma easyfunding.com, right? Or call our office Monday through Saturday. Now, here's how you get funding for a fashion label or any business. We got you. I've started in financing. I understand financing. We're offering you an opportunity to get unsecured funding with minimal documentations needed. No one's doing that at the cost that we're doing it. Our application fee was $1,000 and it was flying yeah. off the shelf. For Christmas time until December 31st, it's just $500. 
for the next nine days. For those who want funding, if you know you don't got no hustle, or you don't got no business, or you got no business doing business, don't get it. It's not for you. But I want to talk about a second strategy. And this is why we're here right now. See, again, you don't have a money problem. You don't have a credit problem. You have a strategy problem. I've been doing business for 13 years now. Owned over 24 businesses. Have made millions in business. Documented. Have been on some of the biggest TV platforms in the country. NBC's Today Show. I'm talking about a three-time felon, ex-corner boy, high school dropout, on NBC's Today Show as the real estate expert. Yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that I figured it out a little bit. Yeah, you did. That, and that's why we have our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> See? My point yeah. being is this. I understand strategy. And so what we've done with our relationship is right now, see, you can go reinvent the wheel, start your own fashion label, nothing wrong with that. Or you can position yourself in what you're currently doing to do joint ventures or collaborations. Hard so the other you. proven strategy is mm -hmm. what we call plug and play. See, the model that I coach my clients and teach my students and my protégés is you want to be the go-to person within your sphere of influence when it comes to business. Now, my business is not fashion. That's right. not my business. My business is real estate development. My business is real estate funding. My business is business funding. My business is credit services, credit repair, inquiry removal, right? Financial services. My business is real estate and business education. These are part of my businesses, amongst other businesses that I have or I'm a partner in, right? But by me becoming the go-to person, right, in my business, in my sphere of influence, I've now built credibility and that influence, right? So what it allowed me to do, King had a niche of black, a clothing line focused on the black community, uh, financial elevation, financial literacy, a financial movement. And yes, so sir. here's the other proven way. Me being one of the biggest names when it comes to black business, black real estate, black economics, black finance, one of the biggest names in the black or urban community, I've now established myself. So now, although my business might be real estate and business education, et cetera, business services, I now have the Black Money Matters company who does fashion. And now, not only are we talking about this limited collection, January 1st, we're launching not just this shirt, but three other designs within a limited Black Money Matters, Jay Morrison collaboration. But that's just step one, phase one. Our initial talk was, because I'm a businessman. I told you guys, yeah. I'm not a house flipper. I'm not a wholesaler. I'm a businessman, a business mogul, if you will. So my strategy, when I first talked to King D about us collaborating was, let's see what the collaboration is like, and let's talk about what a merger would look like in an acquisition. Because what I'm thinking is, well, if you do what you do best, my mentor, Emory Jones, told me, Jay, do what you do best. So if I'm doing what I do best, and I'm the go-to person in my sphere of influence, and if the Black Money Matters Partnership are the go-to person when it comes to this fashion label or this fashion label designed towards black economics, now we're talking about not just me having a collaboration what we call a JV or joint venture, we're talking about doing a full-blown label together where now we have a merger of our companies and now I can have my own piece of a fashion label that stands for and represents what I stand for and represent and with no money out of my pocket, just leveraging my influence and my, my, my influence in human capital now can create the, and my business ingenuity and my marketing ability, my brand ability, and my ability to build infrastructure and all things I could bring to his company, we now can collaborate our influences after a test run and see about having our own collaboration and unified front.
and I think that's very important for, for and I like to add that, Jay, as, as far as for people who are, you know, small businesses like myself, uh, you know, under five years in business, you know, a, you know, a small fish in a big pond, you really have to, you know, build the relationship and understand that there's someone that's further than you that can get you there and you have to be vulnerable enough and you have to be strategic enough to identify that and let them know that. You know, a lot of times we, we try to play two boss and you can miss out on your opportunity. You have to say, hey, man, I need help. <laughs> That's the bottom line. We told you we need help and we would we would love to, you know, for you to help us, you know, and uh, from there you made your decision. So I definitely want to tell people that don't you, you don't have to you don't have to you know, you, you can't act as if. But but to the people that are are where you want to be, you don't do that. Just just come to them because they know they know where you are because they're further. So that means they've been through that step already. Sometimes right. you got to be with somebody else to get you there. Yeah, I mean, this is an amazing interview to be honest with you all. Like, there's some gems in here for those who really watch it and just not looking for just the you know the bullshit live whatever, but really like want the gems for life. King has been a great. This is why I'm, he's on my screen right now. He's on my garage wall. He's been a great collaborative partner, right? It's not that he's being a pushover, but he's been very humble. He checked his ego and pride at the door. We know as men especially, and as black men, we have a lot of pride and ego. I had someone, a new entrepreneur, someone that's never run a major enterprise of their own, not no six-figure, seven-figure, eight-figure business, who I believed in. I loved his knowledge base, loved his strategy. He was talented as you know what. And so I said, come on, let's do it. I move fast. I mean, I'll do my diligence. I'm going to ask for the proper paperwork. I want to see your track record, your resume. I want to see that you got, you know, your, your, your ducks in order before I do business with you. I'm not, you know, silly. But if the spirit is there, if I, because remember, I wasn't always the me y'all see. I was the potential me. So I believe in potential. Like the Jay Morrison 13 years ago that came off the corner that didn't know how to send an email. Think about that. 13 years ago, 2005, I didn't know how to send an email. <laughs> That's crazy. You understand? So I believe in potential. Um, so there was a, there was a, a, a young entrepreneur or entrepreneur in general who I was going to bring into the brand after only meeting him for a week. I said, let's collaborate. Yeah. Sent him an amazing offer. Great opportunity and say, you know what, let's review it in 60 days, 90 days. And if this works out, sky's the limit. Yeah. And he said, you know what, I'm with it. I appreciate you. I mean, he was so humbled by it. Tears literally dropped. But then somewhere in between us executing our agreement and him thinking about it or somebody being in his ear, he started to pop, p puff up and posture up and then tried to reshape our agreement and come with some astronomical something. And I just said, I, I, I didn't even say, I told my, 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 my team to politely decline. And that was my last communication with them. Yeah. Because it was, as someone that's running and doing business at my level, and it's no big old puff to meat, but I'm working my ass off to build something that most people have not done and right. could not do. I've invested hundreds of thousands, literally probably millions of dollars into myself and this brand and this organization. And when people were gossiping and spreading rumors and trying to steal from the company and all the ups and downs and hurdles when a real estate market crashed and everything else that I've been through, beefs with Southern Bees International Realty over my community activism and everything else that I've been through, I worked hard to be in this position and to have an organization where we are uh, employing and supporting nearly three dozen staff and vendors, right? Where I'm creating that many jobs for people and most people that look like me and you. So exactly. for someone to take my kindness and the opportunity and then get puffy about it and get astronomically puffy about it, like a lot of times we let our pride and ego destroy us, we get in our own way, because we feel in ourselves. Or the opportunity comes, you got what you prayed for. A lot of us pray for it and then we get it and we don't know how to handle it once we get it. 
Because it came to you, so now you take advantage of it or it seems so easy. Right. So the point being, as again, you made a great point, is that as someone, you do what you do, whatever you do. What I'm saying is have faith in the opportunity of collaborations and joint ventures. That's another way you can start a fashion label. You may not be a fashion guy or a fashion gal, but you the, you the, you the ish when it comes to public relations. You the ish when it comes to video services, or you the ish when it comes to building apps, or hair salon, or selling weaves, or whatever it might be. So you might be the person that, yo, you sell a, ha you sell a hell out of some hair, or you got a popping <laughs> poppin hair salon. Dude. Maybe you with your popping hair salon collaborate with a fashion company, come up with your own brand of fashion that represents that clientele you have of women or men who come into your salon or barbershop, and now you have a merchandise relation and start your own label with no money, but just through collaboration, leveraging your influence. Mm -hmm. Right, there's no idea. Or you're somebody that can develop apps or develop websites or has connections with merchandise or manufacturing or can offer some other value to a brand and now you use that value as leverage or bartering leverage to do business. I'm only telling y'all what really works in business. Yeah. What none of the gurus are going to tell you, what they're not going to tell you with gimmicks, this is how business is done. Well, well I, I, I want to add to that, Jay, because I, 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 I believe a lot of people miss that point as far as, you know, the value of, of Jay Morrison outside of the real estate and, and understanding that, you know, um, you know, what you do does it as far as is greater than who you are. And, uh, you know, a lot of people should know that before we had the relationship, my partner and I actively watched Jay Morrison regard from the real estate to uh, just being a business uh, entrepreneur overall. We watched his methods. We watched his teachings and what what he's been teaching. We have imp implemented we're just happy that we're doing it with the direct guy. <laughs> I mean, that's just the bottom line. <laughs> facts on facts. And so yeah. again, I just want to encourage you all to understand that, yo, there's so many strategies for you to make happen in your dreams that what you want to happen. You don't have to, it might be you funding your dream, funding it yourself, using the bank's money, using our easy funding and funding your dream. It might be you busting out a joint venture move with somebody. But you have to say, what makes you credible enough for someone to want to do a joint venture for you? What makes you valid enough or what value do you offer where someone wants to joint venture with you? Exactly. So even to get to this level of a JV, you got to be a good enough businessman or businesswoman or offer a solid enough product or service in order for somebody to want to do this kind of business with you. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of opportunities that we offer in our school. I'm all about sharing the knowledge teaching entrepreneurship, teaching real estate investing, teaching business systems operation, teaching credit mastery, teaching business credit. I'll give you the game, but you got to have some skin in the game and make an investment into your own education. Hear as you. simple as that. This, 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 people like, for me, you know I teach and have taught on the corners, Bruh. big time lessons, hours spent on the corners, 24 hour corner classes all throughout the country. I got tons of free content on my YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and other channels. That's fine. But what we got to understand again is that if you're not invested into your own business, into your own future, no one else is going to be actively or as invested as you like them to be into you as well. That's just what it is. If I didn't see you, at all these corner classes or at other events or really put into your business? If you were just a, a lean back, gimme, 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 hand me out, oh, I just wanna see you a free t-shirt in the mail. Anybody right. can send me a free t-shirt in the mail and I, I humbly appreciate that. And usually my, my wife to be and I will rock your t-shirt. We may even post you. But when you talk about trying to get into the boardroom with somebody, into collaboration with somebody, you really got to invest into your business. And if you're not an educated or savvy business person, if you don't got the game, if you don't understand how to brand your business or your LLC or financing, you're not giving yourself the best shot. 
So my job, knowing what I know, is to try to give you guys all the entrepreneurship game, all the business game, all the mogul game, all the real estate development game, all those things as affordable as possible for you, but as effective and as thorough as possible for you to be able to grow and scale what elementary school, what high school, what college never taught you, what the streets never taught you, what your family never taught you. We'll teach you that here at JMA. That's my goal, is to create a school and institution to teach young entrepreneurs how to be better entrepreneurs. But if you can't invest into that process, why would we or anyone else invest more into you? So again, you guys got your easy funding. This is our office number, 1-844-JOIN-JMA. And if you want to look into, I'll post it here real quick. One second. I don't know what I just did. I got boards on boards. Oh, here we go. Thank you, sir. We got it. We got it. All right. So I just want to put this here for you guys. If you guys want to look into my training, right, this is how I teach. My partner, Will Roundtree, my partner, Roberta Hosky, like my instructors in my school. If you want to look at so what we teach outside of calling our office, Dig into our website. Look at our courses. It's www.jmorrisonacademy.com. We have everything from beginner's courses to wealth mastery courses to one-on-one -on -one coaching. You want to look at our one-on-one -on -one coaching? We offer that too. We're actually offering a discounted 50% off our one-on-one -on -one coaching up until midnight, December 31st. This is one-on-one -on -one beginners coaching for the house flippers, the wholesalers, the real estate investors, the real estate development guys or gals. Our one-on-one -on -one coaching is 50% off till December 31st, as well as our easy funding is also 50% off up until January 31st, or December 31st. I want you guys to look at these opportunities or join our online program to just get more gain than you already got. And... On January 1st, look out for the launch of the collab ball. We're going to have four limited edition pieces. I'll be wearing them over the next nine days or eight days now as we do this top 10 easy business countdown and campaign. So again, every day I'm going to be teaching, probably out of the garage, every day I'm going to be teaching about a different business and, ha and interviewing different entrepreneurs, getting their perspective on business to help you guys level up in 2018. New year, new bank new year, roll. New bag, baby. New year, new bank roll, and we need new strategy, we need new game, new education, and new information. And some of you guys will have a new mentor and a new coach. But we want you guys to get this new line, the limited edition, Black Money Matters collaboration. Kenny, yes, I appreciate you for, again, spending your time to be here with me. Just because it's me does not mean I appreciate your time any less. Uh, any last words for our audience before we head out? Uh, last words is... Check us out on Instagram, blackmoneymatters.co. We have our design page, which is SDF House on IG. Check out the website, blackmoneymatters.com, .net. We done bought them all. .co, we got them all. You go to Google, <laughs> put in Black Money Matters clothing. We are there. Please support because we support the black community to its finest. I got true detergent. Whatever. I support it 100%. I'm black to the fullest. I'm out in Atlanta all the time. I'm out in D.C. I'm out wherever the black people are. And I'm here. And, and I hope everybody understands that both of, both, of our, both of our brands are solely here for the involvement and the advancement of our black people. Could have said it better. Again, this <laughs> is about us being entrepreneurs, young black entrepreneurs, young African in America entrepreneurs who are trying to lead or not trying to who are leading by example and showing us that our black money does matter right and for us to continue to grow wealth together we got to understand assets assets over everything we got to understand we have to become more financially astute we got to understand ownership I don't care if you have a real estate investment company or you got a fashion label it's all entrepreneurship it's all ownership and because we are promoting 
of the advancement and the repair of the African community in America or the black community, it means we hold no uh, discrimination or ill will towards any other community. But we must do the work of repairing our community since no one has repaired us and everyone has been morally neglectful to do anything about our condition. So as black men, we know that it's our responsibility and on January 20th, we're coming to Atlanta for a thousand men march in Atlanta to reclaim responsibility for our community. So it's men like us stepping up saying, hey, look it, we know our community is hurting right now. There's violence, there's lack of education, there's ill-spent money, there's tons of issues in our community. But rather than complain about it and cry about it, we're gonna do something about it. And that's reclaim our responsibility to lead, protect, and provide for and within our community. So I thank you guys for being a part of our Easy Business Countdown. This is number two of 10 with the Black Money Matters partner and CEO, Demetrius. That's right. Uh, we thank you guys. I'll be back tomorrow with another entrepreneur and another business talking about multiple ways you can start or excel or accelerate in business. All right, I want you guys to one day, whether it be owning the roof over your head in real estate, owning farmland, owning a, a multi-unit, owning a store, owning real estate, or owning an asset such as a business, like a fashion label, etc. I want you guys, you owe it to yourself and to your family to be an owner one day. If you are never the owner, if you never have any assets, if you never have any type of income producing something for yourself outside of changing your, exchanging your hours for dollars, if you don't create that for yourself and your family, you're doing your next generation and the generation after that a disservice. And you're doing yourself a disservice. Everyone deserves to own something to whatever capacity and degree that God puts on your heart to go own something. Me, I want to own a lot of something. You might want to own a little bit of something, but don't go through life just being the tenant, just being the employee, just being a worker, and never being the owner. Don't be the consumer. Understand that your money matters and put that money to work for you by making sure you own assets that produce you revenue and income while you sleep. That's the goal. I'm Jay Morrison, CEO and founder of Jay Morrison Brand, Jay Morrison Academy, Tulsa Real Estate Fund, Jay Morrison Real Estate Partners, and I'm out. Peace.